Hello YouTube, so uh, Triumph Guy here, I'm going to do a quick 1500 uh, mile review on my Triumph Spitfire 1973 uh, 1300. Um, at the moment, obviously I haven't been out for many drives because of the, uh, the lockdown, however I have been doing my weekly essential shop and because I can't take any passengers in it, um, you've got plenty of room in the car, you've got all behind here and you've obviously got the footwell but also the boot as well the amount of stuff you can um you can actually fit in that small um boot is pretty crazy now this car has been a bit of a godsend for me really um i think for my mental well-being um just being able to go out once a week in it or you know whenever we need to get something then it's been really good as you can see got the soft top on as well so that's kept me a bit busy um and if you haven't done already, I have got a video on how to um, fit the hard top. Uh, it's quite a simple process. If you do get stuck, then you can um, you can just drop a message, uh, drop a comment, and I can help. Now, the car itself uh, is brilliant fun to drive. Um, sticks to the road like glue. You can easily corner, you know, 60 miles an hour plus. Um, it sits at 70 quite comfortably on the motorway, around the country roads. That's where it really, really um plays magic now you know i often comment on other people's videos with the triumph and go absolute beast and everyone's like well a car which does 0 to 60 in 17 seconds not really a beast but i think with speed you've always got to put it in perspective you know um it's an old car it's got a small engine um so actually 60 70 miles an hour is quite fast um obviously it can go more but i don't really want to be pushing it for its paces too much now um, it's been my birthday recently, so um, I treat myself to some red silicon hoses. They should be arriving in the post soon. Um, and I'm also going to order a uh, chrome radiator, so I'll be doing a video on um, how to fit all that stuff. Also, something else to keep me busy. Um, the steering truncheons, they need to be oiled slashed greased. Um, obviously, there's a big debate on oil or grease. Uh, I go with oil because I go via the um, Haynes manual for a lot of my stuff. So I'll be doing a video on that. This would have been done before. However, I had the uh, the wrong grease gun with the hard nozzle. You actually do need a flexi nozzle so you can get in there because it is a tiny bit tight. Um, but yeah, the car is um, amazing. I normally keep it garaged, but at the moment when my girlfriend's house, um, I leave my daily, which is a, another classic, a 1990s uh, G-Wagon. So I'll be doing a video on that at some point. Uh, I have got really good um, car cover for it. It fits fairly nice um and yeah it definitely definitely keeps the car dry so that that is the most important thing and um yeah the car's just an absolute pleasure to drive i think i've actually got the rarest triumph in the world because the heaters work and so do the demisters so that's good and also i've got two speeds on my wiper blades which is also believed to be unusual now I'll just go through a couple of details which I, I really do like about the Spitfire, which I don't think I actually did on the um, on my first review, is you just don't seem to get this metal painted um, on the inside of a car anymore, you know, solid um, metal. And also this wooden dash. Now I will be improving it at some point, but it's just a really nice solid wooden dashboard. And this here as well, coloured carpet. Now. On um, modern cars, it's all black or, you know, cream or whatever, but it's quite good just to get something very, very different. Now, obviously, I haven't upgraded the valve, so I use this uh, classic car uh, lead additive. Now, with this, this is my second bottle, and as you can see, I haven't actually used that much of it. Um, so it just goes to show um, that, you know, I think a bottle of that's seven quid for 1500 miles is not bad at all and the miles per gallon on this isn't terrible um i'm obviously going to compare it to my daily which does about 20 to the gallon uh, but this i think you get about 35 to the gallon so it's fairly respectable especially petrol as well um for an older car but guys thank you so much for everyone who subscribed i've hit 60 subscribers now and um, I look forward to seeing you all soon. I'll post a picture at the end of the video so you can see that I've actually been doing my weekly shop um, in the uh, in the car. Um, but yeah, if there's any videos you guys want me to do or any how-tos or you get stuck with anything, please, 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 please uh, drop a comment below um, and I'll get a video like, uh, sorted pretty quickly on it. Um, also, 
um make sure you do like and subscribe as it really does help us out um especially you know myself starting out as a youtuber so thanks again see you soon